Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here a bit later than usual in the day with his recording. It's don't ask questions, I don't have answers. Uh but we are returning to Stellaris as the Hutwaya hub, and we are about to commence our invasion of the Angarian Dimensional Commune once our forces in the Jabba system finish reinforcing. That should take, I believe, a few more months. Uh let me check. Because we have one more ship we're building. Successful. So yeah, 60 days, and then we'll start upgrading all of the ships to the latest designs, and then we can invade the Angarans. Um, these will take too long, in my mind right now. Synthetic crystals might be useful, though. Yeah, we'll go with synthetic crystals. System survey complete. Cool. The Eptraben system, very nice. I think after we fight the Agarans, we have to focus a lot harder on uh, economic development, let's say. Now let's grab the Unar system next. So it's got a broken asteroid base. Technological acquisition successful. Okay. Let's grab. Let's grab more terraforming speed. We're about to have climate restoration, so that'll be very useful. Our economy's not doing terrible, but it does need a little bit of help still. Okay, good. It's starting to upgrade all the ships. Uh, let's take the influence and repair the device for the scientists. Yeah, let's grab Ugizium because it gets closer to Kuma, and there's some pretty interesting stuff down here. Construction complete. Commander Blip has leveled up. He's commanding a fleet, so we'll give him automated repair systems too. This construction ship is done. We can move forward to the Trappist system. We need... Okay, we're already repairing a megastructure, the decrepit mining rigs in tier. But what will the broken asteroid base give us when we do repair it? 50 minerals, 12 unity, 5 rare crystals, and 10% resource production, I think? I'm not sure what that symbol is. We'll figure out when we click on it. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. Grab Dandir because of the rare crystals. The Raxcordian can now use the Hegemon Cassius Belli against us. The Raxcordian. Raxcordian. They want to form, force us into their Hegemonic Imperium, huh? Where are the Raxcordian? Oh, they're here. They are in charge of a Hegemony, which involves the Velet, the Gulk Fracarians, and the Alliance of Shantar. Okay, so we may see the the Velet, the Raxcordian here, absorb the rest of the Federation at some point. That would be interesting. Yes, let's get over here so we can grab Kuma. All right, how are we doing? Ship augmentations completed. Gonna take multiple rounds of upgrades. Hopefully we have enough resources. Um. Ooh, a vast plain of loose rock and gravel stretches before us. Above it hangs a pale, empty sky. This is one of the, uh, Astral Rifts. I don't know the proper sequence to this, but you can get a pretty cool item if you do it right. Um, 
No planets or stars can be seen here. This does not appear to be part of a galaxy or any known system. As far as our sensors can detect, this landscape continues infinitely in all directions. The surface is pockmarked with holes as large as some asteroids. All across the horizons, dozens of masses, warm -like, massive warm-like creatures are bursting from the ground. Pairs of powerful fins allow them to glide through the dense atmosphere. They must have some type of colony underground. Um, yes, let's explore the tunnels. Technological acquisition. The successful. Clean have invited us to declare war on the click tack, on the siltac, in order to gain the banner of the fallen relic. Now, the Clean would gain the relic. I would not. But I would end up doing most of the fighting looking at the galactic borders. The Clean only partially border. Well, they, they heavily border the click tack in the north. And I have a single route here, which is currently blocked by a hive of living asteroids that I haven't taken care of. Because there's a lot of them. There's like, what, 3k, 6k, 9k worth of combat strength in this system? Yeah, no. We haven't bothered taking care of that yet. So seeing as I can't attack the uh, Siltac, and our main goal this episode is to attack the Agarans, I'm going to vote no. Not sure why they they construction they would ask me to declare war on them. I mean, I kind of I kind of get it. I am pretty powerful ish. Yeah, we'll go with construction templates. Okay, how are we doing? Probably not great because this is a single shipyard. I probably should have left everybody at home, upgraded them, and then sent them up here. Yeah, you know, 266 days till we get that upgraded. And then we'll get our second shipyard. So this is this is going to take a while. Let's speed this technological up fast. acquisition successful. I'm going to go ahead and take more encryption. Don't want anyone spying on us. Speaking of spies, how are you doing? You're at 17. Okay. Rox Cordian have signed a research have broken a research agreement with the Alliance of Shantar. Okay. The corridor is entombed. Okay. The process of decoding the terminal, a failsafe was triggered, and the entire room quickly filled with an expansive foam-like material. Before anyone could assist coordinator, they were completely encased. Any attempts to uncover them were fruitless, so what material could be removed was instantly replaced. Oh no! Scientist coordinator has died! Unfortunate! Oh, well... Sorry, buddy! We'll, uh, we'll just replace you with Cube here. Yes. Cube, you will be a new archaeologist. There you go, Cube. Have fun. Don't die. Well, that was a negative event that I was not hoping for. Ship augmentation that is, is completed. That is highly depressing. Incredibly depressing. Complete. Yes, yes, let's go ahead and grab this, and then we will need more influence, got it. Alliance of Shantar has become more authoritarian. Technological acquisition successful. More encryption. More energy production, please. Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. Let's get battle frame armies. We might need them for the war. Let's get a second shipyard and a torpedo battery. And then battle simulators? No, service the umbilicals to make the ships here less upkeep wise. Okay. Alright, now. I'm, I'm still saving up to uh, use the machine core on zero, but it's taking quite some time. Let's take a look around. We should have some terraformable worlds due to climate change, uh, climate rest, excuse me, climate restoration. So we have this barren world here. Noise. We have another barren world here. 
also a precursor world. Both of them are. Um, anywhere else? We do still have a few out here in Poru. There's a cavern world. Ooh. Dry, frozen, or wet. Mm, 12k. Yeah, we might as well just keep saving up to save zero, or restore zero. We have a barren world here. Strong magnetic fields. Precursor internal fortresses. That's cool. Yeah. It's, hmm. We have to produce more of something to be able to produce enough energy to... Ship to restore zero, but it will happen eventually. Oh, wait. There we go. Now that fleet will be full. Now these fleets are only 40 out of 50, but because of resource production, um, I'm... I'm I think 40 out of 50 should be okay. I want to strike these guys before they finish their war with the Blinnock. They're at 34%, 35% war exhaustion. So we need to strike here soon. Monthly influence, speed of intel gain. Let's go with all knowing here. Or more influence. What, what, what do we spend influence on besides expansion, right? Maintaining diplomatic treaties. Okay. And making claims. Hmm. Hmm. So right now it's producing 0.75. This would increase it to a full plus one. Let's go for that. We've got a full plus one. Ship augmentations completed. Okay, this fleet is ready. We have discovered the Kenjodin Warriors. Okay, around Tofri Star. They are marauders. Oh, the ancient mining facility in Tyr has been fully repaired. They're marauders. Huh. Interesting. Our primitive is on talk. ROM 1. Have discovered a new mode of transportation that has brought them tor closer towards planetary unification. Remarkable, this is highly uncommon. We gained 3,700 engineering. They're still in the steam age. Ah, oh, nice. But they've unified now. Much earlier than most nations do. That's cool. Much earlier than most primitives unify their planets, I mean. Ship augmentations complete. Okay, how are we doing here? Ready? You're ready? You're working on it. Cool. And we have two more ships that we're waiting on. And then we are uh, at go time. Hopefully, we don't miss our window of opportunity. Ship augmentations completed. Now, those reinforcements will be there in 2280-0906. So, a little less than a full year. And then one of the destroyers are still being constructed. And they'll be done in 90 days. Okay, so we just gotta wait. Acceleration microverse. As our sphere passed through the rift, we experienced a wild burst of acceleration. The tremendous gravity of this universe was pulling us in. After an uncomfortable and dangerous ride, we found ourselves floating within a dense cluster of star systems, every one of which was within range of our sphere's limited sensors. As far as we can tell, these compromise the totality of this universe. Initial reports also indicate high levels of dark matter. What's more, this mass is constantly increasing. As a direct consequence, the forces of gravity are intensifying over time. Worrying. Oh, we gained 100 dark matter, though. That's cool. Alert. Non-standard space oh. entity encounter. Uh, where even are you guys? Kenyodin Marauders. Do I care? Kenyodin, Kenyodin, Kenyodin. Because, like, if you've got to pass through a bunch of other planets, I don't know. I, I, I don't even see y'all on the map, yo. Oh, there you! Oh, you're all the way over there. Trophy star. They're all the way over here. You'll get nothing from us, scum. Yeah, it'll take a while for them to get here. They have to pass through Angaran space. We'll probably encounter them while we're fighting the Angarans out of weird, out of out of yeah. Okay, a bunch of research was done. 
sure we'll get star base modules to be cheaper. Ship build speed and ship upkeep, sure. More physics research, that sounds great. Tunnels. Ooh, yes, let's harvest the eggs of the, um, of, of the, uh, of the big old rift worms. I'm gonna call these rift worms. The rock worms? Yeah, the rock worms. We've discovered one of their pools of, uh, cocoons and eggs. We also got 40 astral threads. Cool. Okay, how are we doing here? How's everybody doing? You're at 9 out of 10. We've got 22809. Five more months. Oh lord, and that's a ways, but okay. What are you guys voting on? Cooperative research, and we vote yes. Good, 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 good. Construction complete. Bellet, have a, bell, have a commercial pack with Beldorans. Jabba has finished its construction. Very good. Uh, I should probably go design some defense platforms. Yeah. We're almost, almost there. We're almost there to wartime, though. I feel weird doing a war without supremacy active, but, uh, you know. Okay, let's go over to the... F oh yeah, we can repair this now. Let's get that going. Okay. Didn't need to scroll out that bar. I have saved up quite a bit of alloys. So I'm going to start upgrading some of these extra star bases. There we go. We still have 700 alloys left. Good, good, good. We are waiting on one ship for this fleet. And once it arrives, we will go. Man, it took 17 minutes of build-up to get to the point where we declare war. That's that's nuts, but here we go. Claim positronic microchip. Um, let's invite... No one wants to join us. Okay, that's fine. Let's claim micro the positronic microchip. Declare war. War protocols initiated. Okay, we're going to take these two fleets. And we're going to go take this system, followed by this one, and then going there. And then these two fleets will hit Brink, and then. Zelmatic, and then go there. Cool. The initial phases of the war should be pretty swift. We'll move our armies up to Jabba, though I don't believe we will need them. I don't plan on having to land on a planet. Okay. <laughs> We're a malfunctioning piece of software and they will shut us down. No, you won't. We got this. You are a governor. So efficiency loop. Swallowed whole. Oh, no. Situation normal. However, we have been eating while we were engaging and harvesting the eggs. One of the worms has engulfed us whole. Our worst sphere is currently engaged in his digestive system. We don't know if this was an aggressive act or if the worm was simply grazing. It probably was simply grazing. The digestive juices secreted by the worm are mild, but we cannot remain indefinitely. By pulling anchor, we could force ourselves through the gap in the worm's mouth. Alternatively, the worms inside the periodically shop, shaft, and should be susceptible to an explosion. Let's blow it up. 100 gases, though. Do we have 100 gases? Oh, we got 2k gases. Blow it up. Hostile Maybe we'll gain something cool from engaged. blowing up the worm. Okay, we are going to war, attacking these outer outposts. Okay. Let us get more mining station output to support the war economy. Okay, we've taken Damium and Brink. Technological acquisition successful. 
Physics, survey speed, assist cloaking, wormhole travel, planetary shields. We need planetary shields to uh, restore the ozone layer on one of our planets, if I remember right. So we'll take that. They had star bases in some of these systems that actually worried, but they don't. They were not expecting this. And frankly, I wouldn't have done it if they didn't have that microchip. Construction complete. So far we're winning, 3% to 4%. Astral Rift, shrinking space. This universe is shrinking in size. In due time, we predict it will completely collapse into itself. The problem is that we cannot accurately calculate when this will occur. The sphere system has... has blah, 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 blah. The sphere's systems have been acting strangely since we arrived, and various data points have disappeared from the computer core. It is as if the data itself has been unwritten. Elsewhere, a potted plant was observed lifting its roots and returning to a seed. What? The flow of time is clearly unstable here. Alarming. 40 astral threads. Uh, let's see what we can do with all these astral threads. Let's give ourselves an astral boost to help us out in combat. That'll increase our sublight speed and hyperdrive charge time. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Go, go, Alert. my fleets. Go, go, my counter. fleets. Okay, let's keep advancing down this line. Okay, what have they got here? Task Force Bosca, which is a single frigate. Well, joke's on you. I don't have anything bigger than a destroyer, so that frigate's not that dangerous to me. Besides, I don't plan on advancing past Uthon. Um, let's go with fortresses to help defend our planets better. Uh, just in case they figure out a way through territory to get to us that I am unaware of. Like, maybe through this way. Technological look acquisition at it. successful. Mining station output. Uh, let's go with more mining station output. Why not? Combination of swarmers and disruptors is working quite well here. Okay, there's that system. Now we take Uthon. Okay, we're at 7 to 9%. If we continue to take no... Oh no, the explosion didn't work. I lost another scientist. Wow, this game's uh, astral rifts are kind of cursed, yo. Usually I don't have this much bad luck with astral rifts. I must be doing something wrong. <laughs> Uh, collective artifacts, sure. Uh, you're gonna do archaeology sites and special projects. There you go. Don't don't do asteroids. We seem to be having a lot of bad luck with them. Um, but we're gaining more insights here, so that's good. How many ships is okay? Now they have a corvette and a frigate. Acquire an asset, please. There you go. <clears throat> okay. We're going to have everyone stack up in Uthon. We're going to take these two fleets that are in pretty good shape, and they're going to continue to press down this way. Let's pause. Give them some shift click. If we can see them. Okay, we can't see past Zoltar's mom because of the FTL inhibitor. Fair enough. Nope. Oh, what do they got there? 104? 22? 118? Okay, they're they're Hostile pulling together a fleet. Asset engaged. They're pulling together a fleet. How are you guys doing? Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, they're just circling and pounding that starbase. Missile launches, disruptors. Assets engaged. Okay, cool. Technological acquisition success. All right, let's make our way down this way. So once we get to Chrisim, we're going to split them up. One's going to go down this way. One's going to go down that way. Then we'll meet up in Dargan. The Maresh have gained an artifact. Oh, too much happening. Hold on. Ooh, more archaeology skill. That'll help. You are a Admiral. So there you go. Base of operations for a precursor expedition has been set up. We gained 4,400 XP. 
Nice. Okay, so what are they bringing to bear here, and can we handle it? So far, I'm not... Ooh! Oh, this is a pirate fleet. Okay. So, they've got a big old pirate problem in their territory. That's intriguing. Ah, this is a Federation task force they're forming. Mainly of corvettes and frigates. The frigates may do some damage to my destroyers? I am somewhat worried about that. Um... Nova, what are you equipped with? You are equipped with anti-armor and hull weapons. I see. And a single flagella launcher. That launches eight flagella that do shield and armor damage. I can't give you a leader, though. Okay. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Okay, so this is the part where we begin splitting up our forces, and we're going to have to make this assault rapid. go. That's one fleet. Then the other fleet. There we go. Okay. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to stack up as much war score as we can by taking these undefended systems um, while trying to take as few casualties as possible. So we want to get our war score to stay acquisition successful. about 5% below theirs, if we can. Uh, we also want to avoid researching... I don't know if they ever fixed this bug, so don't quote me on this. We want to avoid researching military tech that might cause upgrades to our ships um, during this time. Because there used to be a bug, and they may have fixed this. I think they did. Uh, where if you're in combat and you get an upgrade available it'll reset the health of whatever you're fighting. It's a weird little bug. I think they fixed it, though. Um, someone so, someone who pays attention to the news, tell me if they fixed it. I hope they did. So we're going to go with uh, this transportation, Temple of Transportation. More envoys uh, and unity from Hyper Relays. So that gives me even further incentive to build Hyper Relays. While we're waiting for those fleets to do some fighting, I see that we are stacking up nicely some more... Uh, some more alloys, so I'm going to go ahead and order, or, yeah, order, order 10 of these T-Class frigates. Uh, they're not going to be super useful. The enemy doesn't have anything bigger than corvettes or frigates themselves, but throw some torpedoes at some star bases. That's my plan. That'll make it easier to crack like Ushiri and um, Ming, for instance, which are really big star bases. As much as I want to go with more sensors, I'm going to go with the code breaking. And speaking of code breaking, policies and edicts. We're going to go ahead and enact fleet supremacy and covert analysis while we're at war. Yeah. Can't afford machine learning, otherwise I would do that. Now, got 16 per month. We're going to go ahead and get exotic gases as fuel. And we're also going to get volatile reactive armor since our ships primarily use armor. Construction complete. And it'll strengthen our fleet somewhere. Asset engaged. Blip has developed new tactical skills and has become aggressive. After seeing combat in Orthama. Excellent. Good job, Blip. So Blip is now getting 5% fire rate. Bracket have returned from beyond having spent a year. He spent a year inside the belly of a... Now he's partially digested. Look at that. <laughs> he got a unique, like, picture and everything. That's cool. Uh, yes, we will donate the money and influence for more culture from you guys. That is fine. Okay, we'll stack our fleets back up in Darzin. And then we'll strike down to Beninash. I think I said that wrong, but who knows. Um, yes, more influence and war exhaustion decrease. That is great. Okay, you are simply a solar panel star base. And we are going to have you do a resource silo as well. Mm -hmm. 
You are guns and resources, so have some more guns and solars. Where are you, Ulias? Oh yeah, we'll do a listening post. We don't really need it. Well, we can already see sensors really well into this area, but we can't out into Thorabia. Or, uh, out into, like, Semestia and Matam. So being able to extend our sensors into that area might be handy. Ample deer. You're kind of just out in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? There you go. Okay. That's a logistical sensor that also produces electricity for us through solar panels. Okay, get all these upgraded real quick. I am planning on making this closer to a 35 to 40 minute long episode. Um, I'm not sure if I'll complete the war in this episode since I am allowing myself to get distracted by simple things like upgrading my star bases. Uh, and we have already been going for 30 minutes looking over at the timer. Um, but I'm going to keep going for a bit longer. I want to accomplish the goal of securing our southern flank, I think, this episode. And then we will... And then I think we will uh, call it the end of the episode. So I'm going to try to quickly get these upgrades done. Okay, there we go. Let's head back to the front, see what's going on. Okay, these two ships now need to push through Wexalia and take their shipyard or whatever it is at Benatash, Benanashk, Benanashk, Benanashk. Okay, meanwhile we're going to order the fleet at Uthan to push up to Heka to uh, increase the threat that they are producing. They will now be threatening Amory and Uwarian by being at Heka. That increases their chances of being attacked but does threaten more of the enemy. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Yeah, it looks like they've gathered about 1.3k fleet strength here. Now, who's leveled up? Bracket leveled up. Okay. We'll make... Bra bracket, you will get a new ship. Uh, hold on. Um, go sack. Uh, exploration scientific vessel. Get bracket a new ship. The Malakin regime is declared on the Malakin Confederacy. Ooh, there's a civil war going on. In Malakin space. Where's the Malakins? See, I'm getting distracted. Getting distracted. Ah, over here. Okay. Alright, how are we doing? How are we doing? Go, Sack. We need more armies. Or maybe we can get some armies from you. Yeah, let's get, uh... Four more arachnids. One, two, three, four more arachnids. And then... And then ten battle frames. We'll just start recruiting that. Temporal Leak. Shrinking plants and lost data were only the start of our issues. The drones on the far side of the rift are experiencing something unusual. Our collective is growing confused and we are finding it increasingly difficult to synchronize. Yeah, we saw this one uh, last time. So we can either synchronize or spend some astral threads. Yeah, let's spend the astral threads. That's probably safer. We get 11,000 physics research, though. Complete. That's pretty cool. Garans have increased their encryption level. Okay. That is unfortunate. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Uh, there's a strip Execute mine world protocol. in the Hagger system. The strip mine. Oh, cool. That's out this way, so we'll be able to access that if we clear it. So I haven't been building star bases this episode because we've been focusing on the war. Now they've gathered some troops. They've got 1.3k fleet strength here, which is kind of menacing. Okay, we've got more code breaking. Let's get more survey speed. Okay, guys, we are hitting the 35 minute mark. Okay, this is tier 2 of a precursor expression 4,800 subsidy and 50 minor artifacts. 
Uh, we have a secured Benish. Benetish. We're going to secure the rest of this space. Real quick. And then I'm going to call it the end of the episode. And next episode, we'll gather all of our forces in Hekka, and we'll push on Armory and Agra, and that should hopefully end the war in our favor. We are currently gathering up the troops to be able to do that. Uh, yeah, let's do another Astral Split to be able to get another Astral Rift going. Construction complete. Oh, the post Nakian Guardians. They are a spiritual... Eh, they don't like us. Uh, let's initiate friendly greetings, though. Even if they are spiritualists who don't like robots, they'll still be friendly. Especially if they're bigger than us. And they are. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's keep going. Coordinator gains expertise materials and rift warped trade. Ooh. Well, all right, so my leaders that got sucked into alternative dimensions both return. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yes. You may do archaeologies, anomalies, and special projects, not rifts. There you go. You are coordinator and you have returned. You may do rifts, special projects, archaeology, and anomalies. Here you go. Technological Building up our successful. troops. This cloaking device. Ah, let's get synthetic chemicals. Exploring an astral rift. We now have an Agaran rebel who is willing to help us spy on their homeworld. They're not particularly good at gathering information, but that's what we're going to use them for. Ugly creatures, the Ngarans. Okay, here we go. You're going to go attack there. And then here. And you are going to go here. And then there. And then over this way. And once they're done with that, we'll bring everyone back to Hekka and end the episode. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Okay, this is the next tier of a precursor ruin. We have found almost 5,000 society and 70 artifacts. Let's, uh, let's see. Where's Arden? And why, why do you suddenly... Oh yeah, because I ordered some from some torpedoes. For taking out star bases. That's right. Okay, Nova and Arden are still in Hacka. Executing evasion protocols. There's a raiding fleet? And oh! Oh no! They came from that way. Oh no. That is Oh no. <laughs> oh oh no. Okay, oh, oh no. Um, 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 okay, change your plans, this, this just got a lot more complicated, let's just say. Yeah, this just got a lot more complicated, okay, you guys finish taking that. Alert, station engage. Then I'm gonna have you guys return to Jabba, and you're gonna hunt down the Marauders. Executing evasion protocols. Yeah, sure, wormhole travel, why not? Hostile stationary asset engaged. Construction complete. Okay, Executing Jabba. evasion protocols. And on that note, with the Marauders ba bursting their way through our uh, northern spine here, the Unar Omicron Percy area. Uh, we are preparing to send Stalwart and Tireless to engage them. And then after that, Stalwart and Tireless will return to Hekka and we will finish the war with Ingarans. But that is all we're going to have to wait for next episode, guys. Uh, I want to thank you for all, all of you who watch, for watching. And if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. It does greatly help the algorithm show the video to other people, which is what I'd like to have happen. 
Uh, if you're new here, a subscribe also helps the algorithm have the channel be seen more. So please subscribe. And if you want to receive notifications for when new episodes come out, ring the bell button that's down below next to the subscribe button. And uh, while you're down there, you know, go over to the, uh, I think it's to the right a little bit, and hit the like button. Just saying. You can do those three things. It would make my day. Uh, again, thank you everyone for watching. This is Wumpus signing off. Bye-bye, everyone.